Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bruce Silverstone, and I'm the Vice President of Corporate Communications for the Aquarium Water Company. And this evening, we have the good fortune to join together to celebrate the Aquarian Environmental Champion Award winners. Some of you may not be aware that our search for environmental champions is truly a statewide program. The importance of this award helps frame the many people and organizations who accomplish so many, so many vital and environmentally sustainable tasks. At Aquarian, we take environmental stewardship very seriously, and we know others do throughout the state as well. And so this evening, we will recognize some of our true environmental leaders for the many great things they accomplish. We will present awards in four categories, large business, nonprofit, adult, and student. Now I have the honor of introducing our first presenter, Vice Chairman of the Public Utilities Regulatory Authority, Commissioner Jack Betkoski. The Commissioner has served on Connecticut's Utility Regulatory Authority since 1997. When Pura was established in 2011, he was appointed a director by Governor Malloy and elected Vice Chairman. He also serves as President of the New England Conference of Public Utilities Commissioners and is on the Executive Committee of the National Association of Regulatory Utility Commissioners. The Commissioner is currently Chairman of the Connecticut Water Planning Council. Locally, he is extremely active. He is past Chairman of the Board of Directors of Griffin Hospital, and he served as Chairman of the Board for Connecticut's chapter of the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. He is on the board of the Waterbury Youth Services and a member of the advisory board of the Salvation Army in Waterbury. He received his BA from Sacred Heart University and his master's and six-year degrees from Southern Connecticut. He is also a lifelong resident of Beacon Falls where he served as a state representative for 10 years. Folks, this is a gentleman who gives his time to many, many organizations, and we are fortunate to have him here with us this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, Commissioner Jack Betkoski. Thank you very much, Bruce. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for that lengthy introduction. I appreciate it. And it's also so nice to be here with all of you on this gorgeous evening. It's not hot, humid, nice little breeze. And, and I've been here since the inception of the Environmental Champions Awards. And I can tell you, uh, it's truly an honor to be here with all the people that are being recognized tonight for some wonderful projects that you're going to be uh, hearing about. So I have the honor this evening uh, of introducing Shirley Harms. Would you please come join me, Shirley? Shelly, Shelly, I'm sorry. Run up here, Shelly. You got, a, you, you got your own cheering section back there, Shelly. <laughs> Shelly has devoted thousands of hours to preserving land, along with its critical water, plant, and wildlife resources in the northwestern corner of Connecticut. Shelly is a board member of both Norfolk Land Trust and the Winchester Land Trust and serves as chairman of the Norfolk Conservation Commission. She is also a former board member of Atten Forest and Ecological Research Area in Norwalk. As part of the two land trusts in Atten Forest, Shelley was instrumental in ensuring the conservation of many large parcels and important water resources. These include Winchester's 280-acre Elric Woods Herbert Field Preserve and Norfolk's 311-acre Pine Mountain uh, Preserve. That's over almost 600 acres of land that uh, Shelley was instrumental in preserving. As a founding member and now chair of Norfolk Conservation Commission, Shelley contributed to its award-winning Natural Resource Inventory and Invasive Species Control Program. In these and many other ways, she has shown her commitment to building strong land conservation organizations. Together, the Norfolk, Salisbury, and Cornwall Land Trust have employed her part-time to help them implement best practices and earn accreditation from national land trust organizations. Meanwhile, she has found time to contribute on a broad array of educational programs for children and adults alike, all focused on environmental issues and awareness. For the breadth, intensity, and effectiveness of efforts that exemplify Aquarian's vision of Aquarian environmental champions, we take great pleasure this evening in presenting Shelley Harms with a 2015 award in the adult category. Congratulations, Shelley. Thank you, Commissioner, and thank you so much, Aquarian. 
It's really, really an honor to be recognized by um, a company with such a tremendous environmental ethic. I'm especially impressed by the thousands and thousands of acres that Aquarian has preserved and is stewarding to protect our water. It's also a really great thing that Aquarian recognizes volunteers. It's, it's really encouraging and um, inspiring um, to, uh, to be here at this ceremony. And, you know, the projects that you're going to hear about are all things that we can do. Um, we can, any, any of us can do, can, can do good things for the environment. We all have opportunities. We also all know people who we can influence to do the same thing. So if we do that, then everybody is doing it. We can put solar panels on our roof. We can try to get that onto our employers' roofs. We can try to get it on our schools, our churches. Anywhere where we have any influence, we can make that happen. Same thing with taking out an invasive euonymus bush from our yard and putting in a native shrub. We do that and then we try to get our employer to do it, maybe our employee to do it. Um, it, it, it all spreads. It, it's all, and, and, and the other thing we can all do is support our local land trust. The local land trusts are doing heavy lifting in uh, putting legal protection on um, our vanishing open space. And um, especially in the northwest corner, I know that the opportunities for conservation are huge, while the, the dollars available are not so huge. So um, I guess I just want to say, you know, if you wouldn't be here if you weren't a friend of the environment. So, you know, let's just keep doing what we're doing, whatever we can, wherever we can, and whenever we can. Thank you. Our next guest speaker is a great friend of the Beersley Zoo, a great friend of Aquarion, and a great friend of the environment. Ladies and gentlemen, our great senator from Connecticut, Richard Blumenthal. I'm particularly pleased to be here this year with uh, two of my colleagues in public service. Michael Tetro is doing a great job as first selectman of Fairfield and uh, my very, very good friend, Jack Betkowski of the, uh, what it, what's the name now of that? Uh, anyway, he's a, he's a great consumer advocate and a friend of the environment. I want to just for one minute say how grateful I am to Aquarian. This environmental awards ceremony reflects the company's commitment to environmental values. And that commitment matters so much because it owns a lot of land, it controls a lot of resources, and it is committed at every level of its organization in every practice to the values and cause of environmental preservation. And I am, uh, again, really honored and excited to be with you and really proud of the great work that's happening here in Connecticut because of what you do. Margaret Mead said, you know this quote, I'm sure, as environmentalists, never doubt the ability of a small group of intelligent and motivated people to change the world. It's the only thing that ever has. We may be a small group, but we are changing the world. Thank you all.